The Crisis Center uh, actually started in 1971 in response to a teenager's suicide. And uh, since then, we've responded with programs that include an emergency shelter for boys and girls, ages 6 up to 18, an outreach program called Safe Place in Lake and Porter Counties, a counseling services, a teen court program, a youth as resources program, a crisis line, and a reassurance contact line, both of whom reach out to the community through free telephone, uh, telephone counseling, uh, crisis intervention, and both for uh, young people as well as senior citizens. I'm Shirley Kaler. I'm the executive director of the Crisis Center. Crisis Center is located in Gary, Indiana. We serve all of Lake County and Porter County too. Tonight we're having our 14th annual wine fest and this year we've added beer also and lots and lots of food and uh, we have a live auction and a silent auction and there's probably 600 people here tonight enjoying themselves, uh, meeting, uh, talking about their business interests, their friendships, and uh, celebrating uh, being Northwest Indiana and uh, helping the Crisis Center. The Crisis Center is an app name because Anytime you have a problem or a crisis, it's also an opportunity to change your life for the better. So that's what we do. We help people change their lives for the better. At Alternative House, we serve children uh, ages 6 up to 18 who are uh, runaways, homeless, abused, and, and neglected kids who um, need help to return to their families. We have about 400 kids each year who are sheltered at Alternative House. One of the ways they come to us is through our Safe Place program and area businesses display a sign, a Safe Place sign, indicating kids can get help there. And uh, they call, the business calls us and we send a staff member to determine the problem and bring them to the shelter and then we work on the problem and get them home as fast as we can. Usually it's not the, the kids that are the troublemakers, it's the parents that whose problems um, affect their kids. And, and um, uh, it can be something that started when they were much younger, now they're a teenager and they feel that they can do something about it. We don't take kids who have committed any kind of offense. They're victims. So that's what we do. I've had the opportunity to watch this event grow to what it is today, which is probably the premier event in Northwest Indiana. Everybody comes here, everybody has a great time, and uh, we're really proud of what it does for the community as well as what it does for the kids. We have a very special staff that has made this organization one of the premier organizations in Northwest Indiana, and they've taken an organization that was struggling at the beginning to what it is today, probably the most financially secure organization in the community, and they've, they've really done a special job. And the reason is, is that they truly care about the children of our community, and that's what it's all about. Usually it's uh, some kind of a family problem, um, for example, uh, 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 parental um, substance abuse, uh, uh, fear of uh, someone in their family, maybe they haven't revealed it to their parent, 
but they feel that they can't talk to somebody and uh, need help to uh, have an intermediary resolve it for them. So they would call us and we would, we would work on it. Um, sometimes it's conflict between uh, two sets of parents who uh, can't get along and the children are the ones that are uh, suffering for it. The kids can come in almost immediately. If they go to a safe play site, we will pick them up within a half hour. That's our goal. Uh, sometimes a location that's some distance that's more of a problem. Um, we also have area police departments who find kids on the streets. Uh, they will also bring them in. Uh, they call us first to make sure that this is an appropriate uh, uh, situation. Uh, and and uh, so the police also bring kids in. They're very helpful. They want these kids to be safe. And we know anytime you're out on the street for any length of time, something bad can happen to you. So we don't want that to happen. We insist that before a child leaves, that they uh, have family counseling as well as individual counseling is our goal to help find out what the problem is and sort it out and hopefully make a referral uh, to uh, some uh, program that can help them if there's some distance away or we can follow up with our counselors, all of whom have master's degrees. So they're professionals with master's degrees who are able to meet with them and it's at no cost while the kids are at the shelter. Uh, we always call parents immediately because we figure no matter what the situation is, if they're mad at each other, they're still worried. So we let them know their child is safe. And uh, so that's one of the first calls we make. And, we, and if a young person tells us, I'm coming in and I'm afraid and so on, we, we also tell them, look, uh, we know you are, but we feel your parents are also concerned about you. This is what we're going to do. I'll tell you about a young person I talked to yesterday who uh, lived at Alternative House for a short period 20 years ago. She's here publishing and uh, she had a book published about her life. We're in her book because we helped change her life. She had been abused by her mother from the age of four. She herself went to a police station and asked for help. Stayed at our shelter, eventually um, got the, enough help that um, she went to college, is a grown woman, and decided to write a book about her life, which was, is published. So uh, there's an example of a young person who had a crisis and who is now highly successful and uh, in fact is an author. Uh, there's many other stories like hers of kids who had a big problem and they resolved it and went on to have a successful life and that's what we're about. Uh, talk to someone that you know talk to a school counselor, uh, another adult, um, and if you feel that your situation is that you cannot stay home at that time, call the crisis center at 938-7070, uh, explain what's going on, and uh, we will direct you to the closest safe place site. They're part of that process. For example, you could call the crisis contact line, 938-0900. It's also a suicide intervention line. It's connected to the national suicide intervention line. And uh, we attempt to find out how, why the person is in such desperate situation and uh, help them resolve it. You never get to be a child twice.